I have a sister who is a cancer survivor and I used to take care of her as a medical student and this really gave me a challenge that when I become a doctor I want to offer cancer services because I went through a lot of challenges with my sister. Secondly, I recently lost a father-in-law from cancer and really all those things um, made me to start this center and we started it with my husband and we call it Texas Cancer Center which is a center mainly targeting the poor and middle income class group of patients who need to access cancer services in, at one stop. We offer both radiotherapy and chemotherapy. We have inpatient, we also have ambulance services, we have outpatient services, we have a, a laboratory to offer basic uh, tests for the cancer patients, we offer screening, we have a pharmacy, we also have a um, state-of-the-art radiotherapy machine, a linear accelerator for offering radiation treatment. We do offer both outpatient and inpatient chemotherapy and we offer 24-hour nursing care for our cancer patients, especially those who are not able to, to stay at home maybe because of the illness. And we do have a hostel for stable patients who require radiotherapy and just need a place to stay. For the hostel, really, we, we don't charge them for hostel admission, but we just charge a small fee of 1000 which caters for food and transportation and using the ambulance for their treatment and the security of the patient because they have um, nursing care for 24 hours. Okay, because I know the challenges cancer patients go through, so we decided to put up a center that can cater for those special patients with special needs. Um, for example, radiotherapy only costs 5,000 per session. And this is quite low compared to the other private hospitals offering a similar service. We also embrace our patients, our families as a whole. So when a patient is coming, say, for chemotherapy, we offer a meal so that the patient is not hungry because chemotherapy will take a long time. Yeah. In the morning, we offer some breakfast for the early risers when they come for their radiation treatment. For the future, we really hope to have like a holistic cancer approach, whereby apart from being in Nairobi, we want to spread out to the counties so that we bring the services closer to the people so the patients don't have to travel long miles, long kilometers just to come to Nairobi for treatment. We want them to get treatment right in the comfort of their county. This is a radiotherapy machine. Um, we use it for treating cancer of different parts of the body. The machine can rotate through 360 degrees to localize the radiation depending on the area that you want to treat. So once a patient comes in, uh, we would have already done planning to localize the area you want to treat and then they will set up the machine and then we focus the ray of radiation to where the cancer is. The treatment is on our patient basis. It is painless. It takes a few minutes um, and you can come like for maybe five times a week. Number one, it can offer cure to cancer. It can also help relieve very distressing symptoms, like for example pain. Radiotherapy is a very good painkiller. It can also relieve bleeding. If you have a cancer that is bleeding, when you give radiotherapy, the bleeding will stop. Yeah. And then even the cancer can shrink, become smaller. So if it was causing a lot of pressure, it just becomes smaller and it can actually like cure the cancer. Radiotherapy is it's different from an ordinary radiology machine. This radiotherapy machine is very high energy, emitting very high energy of radiation. So you need to build a room like this one, which we call a bunker, that will be able to contain this radiation. Yeah, so before you can buy a radiotherapy machine, number one is you must build a bunker. A bunker is a very strong room with very thick concrete walls to contain the radiation so that it doesn't come out. Yeah, so once you set up your patient, focus the area you want to treat, you have to eventually get out and uh, use the control area to, to 
set on the machine by remote. So these machines are computerized.